Hello, my name is Nadia Freund and I'm Head Distributor and Educator for Magnetic Nail Design in North America. Most of you know me already from uh, previous videos, um, webinars and courses. Um, some of you probably are just first time uh, with me, so I welcome you. The future starts now and I agree with that. I just came from Netherlands from the Head Distributor, um, from the Head Office for Magnetic Nail Design and I've got so much input, so much inspiration, and I want to share it with you. So today I will show you all the new uh, products we are gonna uh, bring into Can Canadian North American market. A lot of these products are already brought with me and they're already available in our online shop. And I promised you a lot of goodies today, a lot of um, um, surprises. So we'll see. So Magnetic brought something very incredibly revolutionary um, out and it, we are just following the trends. Um, I will start with the basics, uh, so with the basic products uh, we have um, today and it will be our new seal and protect. So it comes in a little bottle of 15 milliliters. And this is a new product uh, that is the patent um, is pending right now. And this product will allow you to uh, um, just to improve your uh, technique, to, um, to improve everything you're doing in, in your uh, studio. The first thing this uh, product does is, um, is I think, I think we'll just start with the video and then I will explain more. Is the right video ready? It's still and protect, yes please. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I I did very much. Um, as you probably uh, seen with this product, we also used uh, the prep and wipe. 
Um, so every time you're buying product, a professional product, I very recommend you to open the package to check the instructions to it. We we'll always have um, for chemical products very important information in almost 30 languages. So you will find the language you understand, you like, and you um, would like to read. Um, so the main, mo most important thing for this product is that you have to use the prep and wipe. You have to use absolutely water-free um, nail cleanser. So usually we use the nail cleansers with about 70% alcohol, so we have about 30% of um, water in it. So this seal and protect product is coming with prep and wipe they have to come as a couple. You should take them together. Um, you might f smell a little bit the prep and wipe, um, like a little bit like acetone, but it's not an acetone. Um, when you're using this product, you have to use gloves and you're not allowed, well, you're allowed, but we don't recommend you to spray th uh, the product onto the client's nails. Uh, because if, if this product comes onto the skin, the skin dehydrates very bad, very bad and it turns white, so you get little white spots and the, the nails, uh, the, the, the fingers don't look beautiful after that. So the prep and wipe is coming in the spray bottle, in refill bottle, it will come also in a half, milliliter, uh, half liter and a liter bottles. You can put it in to the pump bottle or just keep it in the spray bottle and when you're working with that, you just take a uh, wipe and just spray and then clean the nails. So um, uh, when you're using uh, the spray bottle like that, you also get the product on your hands and you don't want to dehydrate your hands very, very bad and then having uh, chemical products on it. So we always recommend to use gloves and um, we stand for that. You've got the first question. Welcome. Oh, Carrie Ann. Hi, Carrie. Would you use this product when you are Filling, no, filing someone who wears enhancements? Absolutely. So we use this product in uh, three different cases. The uh, case number one is if you just want to, um, um, uh, to heal the br broken, uh, weak, damaged nails, uh, if it is, um, like if, if, um, if you broke the uh, artificial nail off, and you give leave a little bit of gaps and and you know how the nails look like when you uh, break off the nail or take off the nail. When you apply the seal and protect, it uh, penetrates into the nail and it seals it. So you get a little uh, basically plastic, the same acrylate as uh, we have in gels and acrylics um, on the top surface. So you can do one layer. Um, if you just want to protect the natural, uh, no, sorry, two, three layers to protect the natural nail and leave it like it is. If you apply only one layer of seal and protect on the natural nail, it penetrates into the nail and it leaves the surface of um, acrylate, then you take a lint-free wipe, dry wipe, you go very, very good into the, uh, on, um, in all the corners around the cuticle, in, uh, remove the whole sticky layer after you cured that, and then you can apply any product, gel or acrylic, and it won't lift. It guaranteed won't lift. And the third case you want to use this product is when you have a little lifting. So let's say the client is coming for the um, fill, refill, rebalancing, or whatever. You start to fall, and it, the client has a little lifting on the side. You don't need to remove the complete lifting. If the lifting is clean, it's not the huge pocket, but just a little line, you can spray in there a little bit of prep and wipe so it dehydrates completely, let it dry for, for a little bit, then you apply very, very little amount of seal and protect on the whole nail, especially in that area, on the whole natural nail, and especially in that area where it's the lifting, and cure it in, in the light for two minutes in UV light. And then you get the perfect connection between the natural nail where the product penetrates and the, uh, to the, uh, above it, onto the, uh, to the, how to explain it, to the product you have, gel or acrylic. Does it make any sense? I hope so. So this bottle is 15 milliliters. You need very, very thin layers. It's very uh, fluent product. So um, 
uh, in Netherlands, they say this bottle will last you for about 100 surfaces, so 100 nails. Uh, no, sorry, 100 services. So for 100 clients, if you apply it very, very thin and um, work like, um, like it says in the instructions. So really, really thin layer will improve your technique. So now, let's imagine your client, you, you get a new client, you clean her nails, you dehydrate her nails with a prep and wipe. I always have to check the, the names because seal and protect, prep and wipe, two new products, and I always get confused. So you uh, dehydrate the nail with a prep and wipe. So the nail is completely dry. You apply this product just in one layer, cure it for two minutes, and what happens then? Right. You don't need to file the natural nail anymore. So if you want to save your time on preparing the natural nails, so your client comes in, you push back the, you clean the nail, push back the cuticles, remove the pterygium. If the nail is normal, it is more than enough to clean the nail again and to use the um, seal and protect. If the client has wet nails, we still recommend to buff them a little bit with a natural nail file of 100, uh, 240 uh, grit. So, any questions so far? No, but carry on is okay. Carry on is okay. That's awesome. So, um, uh, tell me how much time do you spend uh, usually on natural nail preparation for the client for the new client? So the client comes in, sits down. So how long do you spend on pushing back the cuticles, uh, filing all the 10 nails, like dull, making them shape? I'm very interested to that. So as long as I'm waiting for, um, for the uh, answers, I'm telling you a little bit more about our um, other pro product. Uh, I'm just checking if I have, like I have here a little flyer. And yes, I have told you all the information. So the second product is the revolutionary product Magnetic uh, brought to the market. Um, we're following the trends. We're following the needs of our clients. Uh, we're following uh, needs of uh, the nail technicians. And voila, we're coming with a new product that calls Natural Look. If you have a client that gets only manicure done, but she has beautiful natural nails and one of them broke, what can you do? What, what are you answering usually your client? Because if you put gel on it, it will not look natural, so you will have to cover it somehow. But the client is not allowed to have, they call it fake nails, so artificial nails. Um, the other client is coming in and she's not allowed to have nails at all um, because she's working in um, somewhere where she's not allowed. For example, military, she's nurse or she's... Um, uh, working with food, but she wants to have natural looking nails, uh, nice naturally look, uh, looking nails. Um, we have nail biter, and nail biter wants to have just little, she doesn't want to have any much product on it, she doesn't want to have like fake looking nails, she wants just her natural nails looking a little bit longer, just looking a little bit more real. So now we have a natural look for that and if the video is ready i would ask mirko to start the video is there a question yeah we've got the answers already oh, okay about uh, how much time it takes and it seems to average about 15 minutes megan says okay she takes up to half an hour so but in average, I would say it's, it's about 15 minutes when we respond this week. 15 minutes is pretty quick. It's what I usually also take uh, take for the new client, about 10 minutes uh, to prepare the nails and 10 minutes to apply the forms. So, yeah, 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes is pr pretty quick. So right now we don't need it anymore. If you want to save your time, you just use prep and wipe and seal and protect. Uh, cure it for two minutes and you're ready to go for the perfect adhesion. Okay, video please.
So, I hope you enjoyed this video too. Now, uh, as you could see, uh, this product makes absolutely natural looking nails. And I can tell you once, um, in Netherlands we had um, um, uh, uh, um, how do you call it? Oh my god. So, there was a girl, a trainer, she had uh, only one made nail. She had all long, pretty very long natural nails, probably as long as mine, they were natural. And one of them was, was made. So one of them was shortened and made uh, with this product. We were this year uh, just over 80 people. It wasn't very um, a big meeting um, because of the um, hard uh, situation right now on European, um, Russian speaking and the Ukrainian markets. So we were over just over uh, 80 people, all nail professionals, all nail trainers, all nail distributors. Um, we work with Magnetic since years and only six of us guessed right what finger was done with that product. And I can imagine that many of us were just saying, oh, phew, I just take one uh, because I'm not sure which one is it. So if, if your client is having good done work with this product, uh, then you wouldn't, uh, then, then normal people, not, not nail professionals, would never guess what the nails is natural and what nail is, um, let's say, fake. So I will show you a little bit. Um, you can switch the cameras and I will ask my husband um, to um, come over a little bit. So as usual, instructions, please read them. And we have five white gels and one clear gel and uh, we recommend to put it put uh, the colors on the chart uh, ch chart give me a hand your hand your hand thank you very much oh it doesn't matter so imagine um even if it's a man you can use uh, this uh, product so you would just take um tips and just see what um what color looks most natural so we recommend to just buff a little bit the lower area of the, the clear tip and then you will see, oh, okay, let's, let's say, I hope you can see it. So this is too wide. And then this, this is a little bit too wide. This is almost uh, too yellow. And this is even more yellow. And in Europe they say they would like to make it even more yellow because even this yellow is still not yellow enough for a lot of people and a lot of people in Europe are smoking. So if I would use this product, uh, this will be most natural for my husband. So you wouldn't know what um, color is real and what color is fake. Okay, thank you very much. So you will need this set to make the, uh, the enhancement plus reinforcement re reinforcing powder. The reinforcing powder for gel and gel polish um, we have right now in the jar. Um, a little bit later, probably end of summer, I will get it also in the spray jar as you've seen it in the video. But you can still uh, use this very nice, yeah? On a question about yeah? the reinforcing powder, is it a spray? Uh, not, not a loose powder? Uh, it, um, it is a spray jar. Um, I will come later to uh, our glitters, but it is jar like that with our glitter. So it's dry powder inside of it. And it's specially made uh, for thin powders. Um, so, so you spray it, but it is the same powder as we have in our uh, jar here. So with, um, you can use this as refill for, for your spray that you would buy um, later when I get it. But for now, we have only this powder available. So you would do the same. You apply the first layer of clear. Don't cure it. You apply a little bit of um, off-white. I don't want to call it white anymore, but it's off-white. Uh, then you would cure it for two minutes in UV light. Then you uh, apply another very thin layer of clear, sprinkle a little bit of powder, whatever it takes, cure it again. The powder will make the um, 
uh, clear uh, gel a little bit stronger and then you if you need it you can apply another layer of clear after curing you remove the sticky layer and file the nail uh, the nail is uh, usual in just very natural shape okay the camera and if uh, if you have a man or somebody very natural you can just buff the nail um, with a buffer or buff to high shine you can also um, i don't don't buff to high shine no um, you just buff a little bit with a buffer or with a ultra shine um, uh, buffer you can also apply a top gel uh, or um, matte top gel so it looks very natural if it's matte top gel you can also up polish all natural nails to high shine and then also uh, put any top gel uh, with a uh, high gloss okay put it um, the camera back so we um, these five product uh, four products so all to see huh? this in the hole here you go so uh, the set of six gels reinforcement powder prep and wipe uh, liquid in a 100 milliliter spray bottle and seal and protect um, these are all the products you would need to change totally um, your working style if you use these two product for um, in your everyday life you can still use a seal and prep uh, seal and protect for um, ju just as a service uh, as it is for 10 20 30 dollars you can uh, seal the natural nails or you can add it to your manicure procedure if you are a uh, nail technician or if you gel um, they call it in europe gel nail technician uh, gel polish technician um, then you can add this to your services you don't need to have too much knowledge about the nails using this product if you use it correct and there there's the point I want you to use this product as a system in a correct way and therefore I offer you a free certification if you buy the whole um, set. Okay. Um, so right now in our online shop is uh, this set available uh, as a set and if you buy this set uh, you will get uh, the link uh, to uh, online certification. So it's an online course I'm going to prepared next week so if you order this product today uh, even before you got it probably the videos might be already online uh, it will be three uh, videos uh, three video lessons with a little bit of homework so once you did some you once you get the product and did some homework and posted the pictures and with back and forth um, once I'm uh, satisfied with your work you will get the certificate um, so you can um, have another certificate for natural products uh, we also will get very soon uh, posters and flyers for these products. So if you're interested in that, please also contact me. Um, I would like to know now, please um, uh, post your comments under the video. What do you think about this product? W do you think it will be popular in your region area? Uh, if it will be something you really would like to have because you have you would have many clients who will need that product. Um, and if so, also, what do you think, how big should be the jars if you uh, like that product? Because um, this is all the feedback we also need for our head office. So I want the feedback from you and I will forward it to the head office. You've got already uh, Whoa, some feedback. That is cool, quick, very yeah, nice. Elisa, I mentioned, this will add a lot of nurses to our client bases. Smile. Absolutely. And then she said, Maybe so pretty nails too. Absolutely, they will have very natural nails and no one will know that the nails are fake. So they don't need long nails, but the, the, the nails will be strong enough, especially if they're working with chemicals. The natural nail is protected through the seal and protect and through the whole enhancement. Absolutely. Any Anything else? No, that's perfect. Okay, so I clean up here uh, my table and we will go forward so we we'll spend a bit of time on our beautiful product i'm so excited i'm just absolutely excited so the other thing we're bringing uh, is the flexi finger 
So this is uh, the finger, you've probably seen it already, um, or some of you probably even have it. I was very um, um, skeptical about this finger, uh, because I thought, oh, it, it will not um, replace our beautiful training hands, and actually, uh, it did. It did replace an, our training hand in some, um, some aspects, and I think they are very, very nice. So for the, uh, there are pros and contras for trainers as well as for students. Well, the first thing is it is creepy. It is it feels weird. It's silicone. It is it has some little bumps on it. It doesn't feel comfortable uh, for the first uh, couple of days of usage, I have to say. But um, this is very easy removable finger. You can work and put very easy into the lamp. Um, you can take a little plate or whatever you take. Um, like we use plates in uh, Netherlands because they're heavy. And then you just stick it and then you have, um, you have it safe. And then you just remove your nail and put it in the lamp. One, one quick question. Yeah? Uh, Megan was asking, uh, will it be available in acrylic? No. The, the, the natural uh, look? No, I don't think so. Okay. So this is really uh, just the gel enhancement. It should be very thin. Uh, this product has made extra for estheticians uh, that don't have much uh, of um, nail uh, knowledge, which is very popular in Europe, um, that the estheticians do gel polish and have no idea how to fix the nails of a client if they have a uh, broken uh, natural nail. Okay, I hope I answered the question. So, um, if you purchase the finger, uh, you can use Ultraform tips number four, but magnetic, uh, so this would be the Ultraform tip number four. And the, the cool thing of it is that you can put the Ultraform tip, ta-ta, turned around, file it thinner, and then you have natural curve that you can pinch for different shapes. I hope you can see it in the camera. Yeah. Awesome. So these shapes, can you see? So if you, if you learn pinching, this would be the perfect way you can build nice, beautifully. Well, this is not very pinched, but still it's very curved nail. So it's what we did on this tip. So this, this is something you cannot learn uh, with a hand trainer. A uh, hand trainer feels still more natural than just this finger regarding on how do I turn the hand of client. Um, there are some more tips uh, I, I can give you. Um, if you're purchasing it, I will send you some information on it. So, and Magnetic, of course, uh, is saying, well, if I have this tip, uh, to glue the tip on it and blend it, you cannot see. So if you're learning, if you're teaching, especially for the teachers, um, we have, uh, right now I think Megan is a magnetic trainer in BC. She is also um, online and watching it. So when you, you, you want to apply the tip on top of this tip, you won't see the blending if the blending is done perfectly. And also for the nail art, magnetic is coming, of course, with a nude color. Uh, nail. So this is this would be the flat natural nail, or if you're teaching different shapes, you just turn the uh, tip around, file it a little bit thinner, and then you have beautifully na uh, made nail that can be pinched. Okay. So uh, saying that, I will show you a couple designs I've done in Europe and. This is uh, the course I'm going to offer uh, soon, also a webinar. It is a uh, course, uh, Gel Meets Acrylic. Uh, so it will be a webinar online. I haven't posted it yet, uh, but I can tell you once. The, the, the part of this nail is done with acrylic, the part, other part is done with gel. And it's perfectly made, um, very strong nail, done very quickly. You take the pros and contrasts from gel and acrylic take all the pros and use them and all the contrasts you just skip okay so then we are coming to some fun products uh can you switch thank you 
So um, you remember we had beautiful uh, long nail uh, art tips. Um, and since in Europe everybody is having right now very, very short nails, so natural nail is in, short nails, um, natural looking nails, um, but, but uh, gel and acrylic are also in. Um, also the nail art became smaller, so the big nail art tips are not popular in Europe anymore, that's why we don't get them anymore. If you got uh, like last couple months, uh, they were out of stock, if, if you noticed. But I still have the show tips. So these are big show tips you can use for nail art. You will just take your um, tip cutter. Okay, everything is falling off, and I don't plan on tip cutter. Okay, anyways, you just take the tip cutter and uh, shorten them as much you want. You can do two tips of it, you can do three tips of it, or even like four very short tips, and then just use them for nail art. So there, 25 of them for eight dollars is pretty reasonable price for as much you can do out of it. Uh, you can make uh, like long, long like this, or um, very very short, uh, like this. Okay, good. So then I will want I will try to show you some of the. Uh, gel polishes we've got. I hope you can see the colors. But I also posted yesterday all the colors on Facebook. If you want, go to my Facebook page, um, my Facebook account, you will uh, see um, some of them, or most of them. Like I've brought tons of new colors. So, and my favorite colors are the new. Um, hot um, colors that are very um, fashionable right now. It is kind of neon colors that are a little bit um, nude, if it, uh, not nude, uh, a little bit more pastel, if it makes sense. So all these colors are very, very bright, but on the same point, they're a little bit um, brought down. We also have got two new reds. They're almost not. Uh, there is almost no difference. The one is Lamborghini red. The other one is Ferrari red. One is a little bit more blue. The other one is a little bit more uh, warm. So you can um, the like. I would say that Ferrari red is a little bit more blue. Lamborghini red is a little bit more red. Um, for your clients, probably almost no difference. But for nail technicians uh, from all over the world, were asking for new red uh, gel polishes. We also have got a lot of uh, chrome uh, chrome gel polishes. You can probably see them turned around like better, or the, the chrome effect. Is it better with the hand? Or without the hand? With all Okay, so we've got, um, yeah, as you can see, many beautiful colors. You've seen them all online. My absolutely three favorite colors are Hot red, hot pink, and pastel purple. So these are absolutely must-have colors, I think. The hot pink, I did some art with that. And I will show you now the art I did with that. So these are some arts. And this is also art, but with another color. Uh, it's pr pretty shiny, but these are also new products that I used on this art. Um, for the quick salon art, for the quick salon designs, we've brought many, many uh, different uh, stickers, and I will show you some of them. They look absolutely cool and very quick designs so there is one of the Megan just mentions she loves your braids oh thank you Megan oh mm -hmm. Megan is a world master in doing braids to her daughter so world champion. Huh? World, champion. world champion what did I said world, world master. master that's German sorry yeah, world champion is, is do, uh, making the braids to her daughter. So I, it's hard to, to see all the, the... So you can look through internet um, 
magneticnaildesign.com and see all the beautiful uh, new uh, uh, stickers and also the new smile lines. And that's what I wanted to show you. I will show you one design, how to do it so you understand um, the basics of uh, using the uh, these uh, stickers. So let me see, I used this one, I used this one, I need to use something else. Um, oh, this, this one. Let me try this sticker. So, the stickers are available in gold and silver. Yes. The rose one? This one? Yeah, this is another product. I will. Oh. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Carrie Ann is taking our online uh, class with Alexander Stepanov with one stroke. So she will be able to do this very, very easy, very, very quick. It's a new product I will also show you a little bit later. Thank you. Okay. So when you're using uh, the uh, nail art um, stickers, we recommend to buff the top. So you would uh, apply... What? She meant the sticker sheet. Yeah. Sticker sheet with roses? Um, I had here, it's white, it's not visible. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. This one? I don't know if you can see that. It's not the roses. Uh, the, oh, is it this one? The water decals. It's old one. It's old water deco. And there is one... Um, with the leaves is a new sticker. Now I'm confused. No, I don't, I don't see any roses. Sorry. Okay, zoomed. On the very right, when I look at the right, it's... This one. The art, the design? It's not a sheet, yeah? Sticker sheet. Sticker sheet on the right? Yeah. This so, one? Yeah. So, but that's not, not a rose, yeah? No, it's not a rose. So, we might zoom in so she can see what the heck that is, yeah? Yeah. So, I'm just... Can you just move it a little bit further to the... Yeah, exactly. And just... Yeah, great. Like that? Yeah. And just little... Uh, that's what I'm going to use right now. So, it's just little... Um, Probably this way more visible. Yes, uh, so it's just like little squares with squares see through. So I will just use the natural uh, look tip. Um, so we recommend to put the uh, high gloss product and buff it a little bit. So I'll just buff here the nail. You can use um, the nail glue if you if you are not uh, comfortable in uh, like, thinking that uh, it might lift because it's a little bit tricky. So where is my scissors? I prepared the scissors here today. And of course, I don't have any scissors. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, scissors. So, you measure um, how much do you need of it, and I will probably just use a diagonal part. Diagonal part. 
Then you can use tweezers. Or you can just use your fingers. And apply it just beside the end. As close as possible, but still you will need the top gel go over it. Whatever is left, you can use a buffer and just buff down. I will also show you one um, uh, smile line, so you understand what for do we use them. Uh, the smile line you can use on everything, on, uh, just on the design, you can use the smile line uh, on, uh, along the uh, lunar law, like here. You can use the smile line uh, on. Oh, it's it's blending my me. Uh, you can use the smile line along the natural nail edge, just like that. So there are very many possibilities to use these smile lines. They're coming in different uh, um, sizes, and also uh, they will come in different colors. If the interest in the smile lines will be high enough, I will also bring them to North America. So. And the home page at magneticnaildesign.ca you can see all the new products and I also cannot find my tweezers right now as usual so I need to use my scissors here you go so you would use tweezers and just apply it in the middle and when it's central enough you just blend it on the natural nail, just like that. If you feel that the sides are coming off, you're more than welcome to uh, uh, glue them a little bit with the natural uh, with the nail glue. So, if um, if you're happy with the result, you would take a multi coat, a super fast dry multi coat. Can somebody answer my phone? Just answer it. Sorry, my phone is ringing. So um, you would use this first to cover very thin layer and let it dry. It dries very quick. It helps to protect the metal part of the uh, sticker, not to um, glide down uh, when you apply the, the top gel. You probably noticed that already switch the camera to my face please mm -hmm. thank you so when you use uh, top gel on top of glossy stickers uh, the uh, shine the metal part is sometimes is pulling uh, peeling down so um, in this case you seal it it's not pulling down but it's also when you apply the top gel it's not gonna lift so let it dry completely and then apply top gel and just cure as uh, desired as required as usually you are doing it so this stick is uh, this is um, a glitter spray with a sticker so with about the glitter spray I have to tell you a little bit okay. Okay. so these are the old colors these are new colors coming soon and we had so far uh, four other colors uh, we had gold uh, holographic, holographic silver, um, dark and pink. Okay, to myself. You might say, oh, glitter, well, what, whatever, we can use cheap glitter. And I've heard a lot of uh, problems with the cheap glitter. The biggest problem is that many companies, um, not, not uh, nice companies, not, not named companies, but just like cheap companies, uh, using the glitter for nail art, they're selling it as a nail art glitter or they sell it uh, for just like very, very cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, the same technical glitter they use in the floors. Yes, in the ceramic tiles. If they use it, uh, so some company using the same glitter as they use in ceramic tiles. Um, 
I've heard that story from uh, somebody I really trust, and I I know that can happen in like, countries like Russia. But also, if you buy Ch- um, Asian glitters, Christian. Yeah, go ahead. Just oh, I wasn't sure. Good. My my husband's giving me sign, and I wasn't sure what it is. So go ahead. Do you use the multi-purpose as well with foils? No. Um, I don't use multi-coat with foils. If you use foil on top of the gel or glue, you will uh, cure it for another minute in the lamp, and then it sticks better, and then when you apply top gel, it's not a uh, peel. You can use it, though, if you want to, but you don't have to. Just cure for another minute after you uh, stick the foil uh, to the nail, transfer the foil to the nail. So back to our glitters. So magnetic glitter is certified... Um, on the EU, uh, European Union uh, cosmetic notification, cosmetic regulation, and all, all the regulations probably worldwide as a cosmetic glitter. So this glitter can be applied not only on the nails, but it can be also applied on the body. So when you're apply, uh, spraying the glitter, it comes definitely on the hand of the client, even if you don't want to use it on your whole body. But I use this glitter on everything when I go to parties. I use it on my hair, I use it on my, my, my clothes. I, I just use this glitter, I just love it, just for everything. Just, just glitter, glitter, glitter. It's a pretty large jar, even if it's a little bit more expensive, but you're on the si- uh, right side. So, And my clients find it very f- fancy when I'm using something like that. It's a very professional, client, uh, very professional uh, product. Um, so I will... Um, I can show you a couple of designs I did today. And I'm going to host a class, a webinar class. So I hope you can see. These, these designs are done with the glitter. I just move it so you can see it like that. And I probably need to move the tips of themselves so you can see the glitter there. Just very, very thin glitter. And uh, I, I'm in one of the next webinars, uh, paid webinars, I'm going to uh, teach um, this technique in different colors, but also using glitter. So as I said, new glitters and new colors are coming. It's a uh, green, blue, um, we call it sea foam, sky blue, red, and rose gold. You can see. So four new colors, shake well. These glitters are a little bit bigger than the, 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 from the first one, but you can still use them for the same art, and it's just it's just incredibly. I love this fun stuff. And the last product, uh, last but not the least, uh, is the paste. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anything. So it was so quick today. Oh, there is another um, tip I made with glitter, with the red glitter. Can you see that? Okay, so this is just a little bit, and you see how shimmery it is. That's just awesome. So this is a new product. It's a paste. I didn't I got uh, much time. I haven't got much time to play with the paste. I can tell you once. With this paste, you can make perfectly um, one stroke. Uh, this is made in one stroke technique, and this is made in um, a fake one stroke technique. And this I will show you very quick, and I will just make any any nice gel, not purple again. I'm in purple mode right now, so I will take the cyclamen. Cyclamen. So I will take. Um, Magnetic uh, brush, uh, new detailer brush number two. The detailer brush number one works even better. Um, so just take a little, little amount. Make the contour of a flower. Or whatever I'm going to paint, I don't know. Just showing you the idea. Clean the brush. Take the purple. Apply it on the other side. 
just watched a webinar for the International Women's Day uh, and they were painting a lot of uh, AIDS because of the International Women's Day is on the March 8th. So they, uh, that's why, I don't know, somehow probably my mind just said, just do the aid. So now what I'm doing is just taking that one side, the other side, going from left to right, from right to left. And that's how easy is blending going. The same here, you can go from, um, from bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom. It's a very easy gradient just to go straight down. Just like that. So I hope you can see it. So the same, I, I use the same technique to do these. But you can also do uh, the one stroke technique. So you would Take the paper palette. I cannot find my paper palette because I was uh, painting yesterday at home and I probably just left it at home. So I'll just take a piece of um, wax paper. I'm using a magnetic flower brush angle number six, but number four would be better for this. If you're using your brush with gels, don't use it with. Um, um, with paint, so just uh, keep separate brush for the brush for that. And then just you can also cure the layers in between doing the one stroke. But it is the first gel that can do it just very, very easy. And yeah, if you cure the layers in between, it will um, give it m more uh, layer layers. And you can always go with a little tiny thin brush and add a little bit more If you need a little bit more accent. I hope you can see it. And you can also use uh, the uh, all, all one coat gels, all our foil and nail art gels that we called foil and nail art gels before, now we're calling them one coat gels. All of them can be used uh, to do one stroke technique with this gel and it just works perfect. you just like that Yeah, you just need to play a little bit around and usually you would do a, a flash cure each level in between before you apply the next layers. I just showed you very quickly how easy it is to do the one stroke with this new gel paste. And there are so many uh, different ways to use it. And the last one would be this. I've got a little piece of left from um, Katarina Ganchar, made, um, played a little bit on my nail here. So I tried to do it. It's a little bit tricky, but um, after a little bit of practicing, uh, you can do that. So if you were looking for this gel, um, you are on the right place. So the question? Oh, we've got a couple of questions in here. Is this a new color gel or just the foil art colors? Uh, either or. Uh, neither nor. Uh, it's, um, it's a new gel paste. We call it gel paste. Uh, it, it, it has different um, workability. It's not building gel. You cannot build the nail with that. So you cannot use it as a French uh, tip for 
um, uh, like in inlay or uh, paint on for paint on it will not be straight but you can use it for art um, because if you're trying to, to apply it very thin the gel will stay wherever you put it like it you probably cannot see it right now oh, white on white it's not working I'll try to do it on black like if you apply it just like that it will stay there forever like I played here a couple days ago I don't know if you can see it the whole thing is just as I did to put my brush in there it's the same relief it's the same um, workability so if this gel becomes popular we might get it in different colors if not we will stay with white white is beautiful enough to do wedding designs to do beautiful little roses um, I hope I answered your question. So, what was the next question? Next question might be very similar. Are these Geo colors? No, just only one for now. Just the white. That's um, less than a question and more like a summary from Carrie Ann. The white is Geo piece, the color is foil, and the nail art Geo. Yes, uh, the, the white was the, the new paste. And the color was the uh, magnetic one coat gel. That's what we were calling foil gel, but now it's one coat gel. Ah, by the way, white coat gel. I have got the samples of the colors. Let me show you. We've got three new colors, but they're not available in Canada yet, but soon uh, they're on the way. I ordered them and they will come. Three new beautiful colors. So um, you asked for more nudes, we have more nudes. This one is pretty much uh, as a nail plate extender. Uh, this one is, uh, I think, the, the gel polish color calls a shade of gray. I don't remember if the uh, one coat gel has the same number, name or not. Anyways, it's pretty gray color, just flat gray. This is a uh, flat nude, looks very close to the uh, uh, a nail plate extender and this is a little bit more browny or more pinky uh, than the nail plate extender yeah who said that that was Sarah Sarah, Sarah okay. okay and uh, Kevin another question Carrier. Oh, it comes in other colors, Not here. Uh, No, it doesn't come in other colors now. Um, oh, do, what camera do we have on right now? Oh. Yeah, bring it up. Thank you. Uh, so no, this again, so this is only in white so far, but all other colors now we have... Uh, I need it. Don't put it there. So, uh, we've got... Um, one color in white for one stroke it is enough because we have uh, all all these colors um, in what one coat gels already and now we've got the three three new colors so I think it's enough colors for one stroke for now and you can mix them to get to get um, other colors right so you can use the white paste on one side on the white side because we don't have one coat gel in white and on the other side you can use one coat gel and it works perfectly so everybody who tried it says it's so easy I don't like my personally I don't like uh, um, gel one stroke uh, because I, I'm just so good in um, paint one stroke but this gel one stroke was so easy so I might go and try more and more with that so I promised um, goodies and the first thing is, for all of you who watched the webinar today, today, for one day, we open a little discount on our shop for orders just over $100, you get discount, I think it's 5%. So if you, even if you're purchasing the starter kit uh, of the natural uh, nail with all the, that um, seal and protect, uh, prep and wipe and reinforcing powder, uh, you, for your certification so you can save um, a little bit also all of you who took part today in the webinar 
you will get a little gift in every order you're placing today and tomorrow. And I have the list of uh, all people that are registered in the webinar, so I will just uh, make my little ruffle. I haven't seen that list yet, and now I've made myself do it. So I will just go like that, and the first uh, will be a um, free class, free online class with Alexander Stepanov. Whatever class you pick, one free class with Alexander Stepanov will be now, and you have to be online with us right now. So if you're online right now with us and hear your name uh, or your um, email address, I don't have the names here, then you have to post it right now under the video like, oh, I want it, or just send me a Facebook message, or oh, that I'm here online, so I know that you're online. Okay, so free class with Alexander Stepanov online goes to... Um, oh, um, your email address starts with Pridigen. So P R I D Y Gen. Pridigen? Pridigen? But don't post the whole e email. What are you doing there? I want my list back. Can I have my list back? So the second prize. 50% of for any uh, class with Alexander Stepanov. So you pay instead of hundred dollars, just fifty dollars. Goes to Anisha underscore Gwalani. Anisha Gwalani. I hope you're online with us. So say I'm here somehow. Message me right now. And the third prize is 20. What? What? Up? Oh. You just want to enter again the part of the email address to verify this person is there. Who messaged me right now on Facebook? Can I have my list back? And the next one will be, mm, should I do something crazy or should I do something very crazy? How crazy am I going? Um, let's say I give you 20% mm, discount on your next order. How about that? But you have to place it today or tomorrow. So, and it will be, Uh, your nail gal pam. Your nail gal pam. Here. Here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whoever was watching us, are there any questions? Are there any comments? I hope you uh, enjoyed my webinar. I'm all about excited about the new products. Um, we're starting with the certification um, for the new new line um, very soon. I hope next week uh, to post um, uh, to start with the certification. You can keep it. Um, uh, I have a couple of webinars coming up. My hand painting webinar. I know uh, some of you already took my hand painting webinar, so I'll start it again uh, very soon. All the webinars that are offered are already online. Next week, there is a webinar on Tuesday, I think it starts. Um, 
and the other one is next week on Wednesday, if I remember correct. Um, okay, uh, for every one of you who is in BC, I wish you a long, nice long weekend. Uh, we have Victoria Day on Monday, so I will not be open on Monday. Your orders that you're placing today will be shipped on Tuesday. I wish you a very nice weekend, even if it's a short weekend for you, and um, hope to see you in my next webinars. If you have any questions, you know how to find me. It's nadiabeauty.com, so you can message me at nadia at nadiabeauty.com. You can fi find me on Facebook. You can my find me under my videos. You will, it's, I'm pretty easy to find everywhere and all the social networks. Just look for Magnetic Canada and that's me. I wish you all the best and I yeah, hope you enjoyed my webinar. Thank you very much and see you soon. Goodbye.